Well, that vlogging thing lasted quite some time, didn't it? No, um, I, I just didn't do anything recently. Um, that's why there's no vlog today. But don't expect daily uploads from me. I know I've been doing it very recently, but I know there's a time where I'm just gonna get extremely lazy, and right now I'm not extremely lazy for some reason, and I'm just gonna drop. And I'm not gonna be uploading daily, and I'm sure nobody cares that I'm not gonna be uploading daily. I don't have a big enough fan base for people to actually people to actually care about me not uploading and all that. But anyways, let's get it right into the video, enough sobbing around. Um, if you look at the title of the video, that is what I'm going to be talking about. So, I actually have gameplay that goes along with the commentary for once in my life on this YouTube channel, which is quite amazing, actually. So, is Blizzard too harsh? Now, what, I'm, what I mean by that is, are they too harsh on the banning system? If you don't know what the banning system is, it's pretty self-explanatory. You get banned for doing something wrong. Something wrong as in hacking. So, a lot of people are getting banned um, worldwide on Overwatch for hacking. Now, what type of hacks? Um, you know, stuff like wall hacking or exploiting the game in any sort of fashion. And some people, I think about 1,500 people, or probably more by now, have gotten banned for wall hacking permanently. Now, wall hacking is just a small hack. I don't know if it should be permanent, but at the same time, I think it should be. And here's why. Because a lot of video games um, take it too easy on hackers and stuff. I... I I really like to think Rockstar and Blizzard are the only people who really look at, you know, people who hack and exploit and get rid of them because I notice they do a really good job of doing that and I think more video game developers should concentrate on getting rid of those hackers and all that because I really hate it. I'm, ta I'm looking at you Call of Duty, all you Call of Duty developers, get rid of those hackers please. I know you tried, I know you tried, I'm sure you have, but um, I think permanently banning people for doing even the smallest hacks such as wall hacking is a great idea because it really scares the people um i'm sure there's gonna be people trying to overpass or override the system whatever you want to call it but i'm pretty sure they're not gonna get by blizzard if i mean they're banning pretty much 80 percent of the fan base no they're not banning 80 percent of the fan base there's just a lot of fans playing this game and it has a pretty strong fan base in my opinion and i think um the more and more game developers ban hackers for doing such things the better it's gonna be so congratulations blizzard in about a year you should have a hacker free game i imagine because most of them are gonna be scared off but then there's gonna be those vendetta rebels who are like i can bypass anything i want whenever i want so you never know but i think in about a year pretty much 90 percent of the, fa or the, the people playing your game are gonna be healthy and non-hackers